Hey, what's up guys? This is Poker Express, and we are back with another episode of Poker Hands. Before getting into it, I would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos. Let's jump straight into the action. The blinds were uh, 25-50k. He opens the first three hands at 250k, and I, I was just like, is this a thing now? Like, because he'll know more about this than oh, I will. Right, you had a decision. Like, so this is what we're doing now, is it? And I was about, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna, gonna start doing this. You know what I mean? Like, and then uh, a hand later he goes, oh, the blinds are 50k. I thought it was 100. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I told him, I was like, I was like another orbit away from starting 5x. <laughs> anyway. I thought that was what, thought that was what we're meant to be doing now. <laughs> well, here's a bit of action. Leon raising under the gun, king five suited, and Bryn, just the aces this time. Yep. Leon's getting a uh, little bit frisky with old King 5 suited. Don't get me wrong, we all love a bit of King 5 suited, but maybe under the gun at this table, might want to give it a miss. Bryn will 3-bet. Leon now playing, well, over 50 big blinds deep. So obviously, if he's a bit, you know, if he's shallow, Bryn might elect to trap with this hand, right? But there's plenty of hands he calls a 3-bet with and he's raised under the gun. Yeah, I mean, Bryn's also sized up here a bit, so I get an exploit, and you can see, like, Right, Leon, so Leon ain't folded, mate. But, yeah. but the, maybe, you know, Leon may not pick up on those, but the other top pros at the table would maybe look at this raise sizing and think, oh, hang on, Bryn's probably got a really good hand here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right now, yeah, for sure. Like, I think this is a, an exploit sizing. Well, he did three bet and a 10 9 4 2 diamond board. Perhaps not the best flop in the world for black aces against an undergun raise and call. You can see, of course, Leon has nothing. I was just saying, like, I know Leon's flopped absolutely nothing, but it's just like, just not sure he's not going to do something here. <laughs> <laughs> he does like to put the pressure on, and it's like, this is a kind of, you know, dangerous looking flop, even though he has flopped, just, I mean, his cards might as well be blank. It's. <laughs> One thing I will say, I can see he's tempted. That's what, that's what I like about how he plays. He's so tempted just to go for it here. Yeah, I might put myself in the, uh, in the bin here by saying it, but I've noticed with Leon that he does put a lot of pressure on people, but it tends to be if he's. He's sort of like a front runner. He likes to do it if he's if he's taking the lead in a hand. He's he that's when he likes to put the pressure in. He doesn't usually do it when he's being reactive at some stage. But you're right. Does it like he wants to do something here? Just kind of need to call out. I mean, he's, <laughs> he, he just, just looks hates business, the, doesn't he? He's just he's flopped the absolute nothing. He just hates to fold it. Like <laughs> this is why this is this is a man who loves the game. Yeah. Certainly burning a time chip or two here. There we go. Yeah, look. I'm loving this. It's going to get the bad news if he does something, but you can tell. Like I mean, even though he doesn't play professional, he understands which boards are dangerous for the three bear and stuff. And this is why he's sitting in the tank. You know, it's not a hand you should be really in the situation with, but he certainly understands that this ten nine four. Right. You know, it's not it's not an incredible flop for a lot of Bryn's three bearing range. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just wants to take advantage of I've that. Just, I've just had the thoughts he's having right now so many times <laughs> myself, so I can recognize it on his face. Well, another time chip for Ryan into the pot. I say, he does love fighting for pots. Don't do it, Leon. <laughs> we want to keep you around. He's got the aces, mate. Well, look at this. He's counting out as if he might jam. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, he he does go on in. Oh. Prince oh, snap oh, calls. No. Oh, no. And Leon will see the bad. <laughs> oh. I just, oh, you just know sometimes he's just going to go for it, you know. Oh. He was time chip. He was time time card chip committed. <laughs> if it half his time cards in, he's got to go for it. He's actually you can't put half your time charts in and then not do it, you know. Yeah. Shaking his head. Of course, he can still win. It's some miracle runner runner here. All right, guys, give us a sweat. Oh, oh. come on, give us a little something. And that'll be the end of Leon. It is still re-entry time, though. It is still re-entry, yep. Yeah, I'm maybe. sure he'll be back in involved. Maybe that was playing on his mind. Uh, yeah, like 1-7. Maybe he thought, oh, you know, I can I give this a go. If it doesn't work, I'll just go flick another 100 grand at the problem. Yeah, you know, maybe he didn't like his table. He's just like, you know, <laughs> just go get a new table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one six, still 160. Always the same, always the same. Mm. Tired. PV25, so where are we playing? We are in <laughs> Barcelona, Casino Barcelona. Go and give everybody their 10%. Ice bet you'll have me in a minute, John. Don't worry, mate. Never Aww. know. You just never know. 
It yeah, it's shallow enough that honestly. Uh, it literally takes two hands and yeah. down wins. Yeah. Okay. Buffy, gonna. It's the view gets on the bar. Flop, hey. Yeah. Which is nice. Ooh. Check. Interesting. Yep. Flop. Check. Top pair and a straight draw. Ooh. A second jack. Yeah, John with not real showdown value with eight high. Two twenty-five. Has fold equity and has equity against a seven or a six yep. and a jack. Just gonna go with the call. A little sneaky. Uh, although, if the, flush, if the straight gets there, this could get... Wow. Dance right. back with the absolute right. nuts. The nuts. I don't think I John's like going to show this I like the way Dan has played this. 9.30 out there. Oh, and it goes. Yeah. And we have a Dang new it. chip well, leader. Oh, nice. Nice hand. Yeah, that was well, well played. checked as well on the in the end. Nice hand. Nice hand. How much is it? Oh, yeah. Let's go. That what was, hand? Wow. Now they're exactly okay. even. Okay. <laughs> Dan Sprague. Nice cool on the gaining. Turn. Yeah, I the really liked lead. his call on the turn. Five. Could have gotten ugly if the straight got there. Carlos from the hijack. Raising up with 10s. Gaston with 10-9 suited on the button. He's going to flick in the call. Queen 6-7. Gaston does flip a gut shot straight draw. Carlos, though, of course, still ahead with those 10s. Gaston lining up another bet. One point two. We know Carlos is tight, but this is Gaston we're talking about. Ace on the river. Carlos checks again. Gaston lining up the third barrel. 3.1 million. How can Carlos fold against Gaston? That's what he's thinking in his own head. Does have plenty of those 30 second extensions to use. Makes the call. Gaston tables the 10 9. Sam on the bottom with sevens. He's facing a raise from Gaston, who has opened with 8 4 at diamonds. Gaston's back, ladies and gentlemen. Ace 9, Deuce. Midi peeling from the big. Pairs his ace. Checks to Gaston, who doesn't know the meaning of the words, slow down. He bets, Sam quickly throws away his sevens. Maybe we'll call this one. Well, Moody check racing, trying to play this one for stacks. Does look very bluffy, midi check raising ace nine deuce. Let's give Gaston a chance to do something rash. Just below six. And Gaston, there you go, does make the call with eight four diamonds, exactly what Midi was after. 
Midi knows his man. Five, six, six. I'd be scared if I were Midi. Okay. How animated Gaston looks. Gaston quickly bets when check two on the turn. Two million and the, the way Midi's played this, I think he just calls and checks the river. Kind of a good card for Gaston to bluff, really. It blocks some of Midi's value check, raise hands on the flop. Ace, nine, nine, deuce, perhaps. And, and he quickly moves all in. Midi quickly makes the call, and that was very well played by Midi. He read it well. He knew Gaston was ready to fire off. And he gave the man just enough rope. Nice. <laughs> WSOP 10k. Please. Just turn it around, click flashed. <laughs> I want to say you want a WPT. Am I. Is that misinformation right there? I'm sure it was one of his like first scores. Maybe an EPT? Oh, what's that first? Yep, WPT. Oh, okay. On a high roller. Speaking of Conan, opening Jack Seven offsuit on the button to fend from the big blind uh -oh. by Tomas. Hey, yeah, won a 50k. Super Ooh. high roller WPT. At the, uh, For 733k. Why was that that WPT? Beat Sam Sovereign heads up, eh? Wow. What a table too. Yeah. Sam Sovereign, Brewer, Davies, Sean, Sean Winter, Winter Osmus. I mean, you got everyone there and he came out on top. So we have a decorated player at only around 25 years old. Yeah. Our Polish big blind flopping middle pair, the best of it. Conan with the C bet on the king high. Fair amount of turns he can t continue on here. 10. Nope. <laughs> Ten. Okay, you just see yeah, calling him out. 10 okay. being one of them. Kind of spooky. I'm, uh, I'm on one today. Apart from the set mining. Oh well, the sets are coming, don't you worry. Okay. We're gonna see like nine in a row. Slow rolling me, yeah. Mm -hmm. 950 out there, SPR of four. Conan with the turn to double gutter. Imagine wants to go pretty big here. Yeah, I'm blocking pairs. But it does give Tomaj two pair. I like the sizing from Conan because Thomas just doesn't get to jam with two pair here. Right. What's this size? At least I feel like he doesn't. Yeah, I don't think he does. Conan still has 7 8. Queen Jack. Really just has the best combo to fire twice with. Yep. One of the best combos. Curious to see how this plays out on Brick Rivers. I feel like Thomas may get a full double. 2.4 yep. out there, 3.1 behind. He's going to have to uh, probably unload three. Or he could just get there. Could just get there. Does not. not. That is quite the brick. However, Conan's still having 7 8 and Queen Jack and. Having both pieces of that in his hand seems like a pretty good combo to triple off with. Yeah, no spade in his hand. Does he need to go all in? I don't think he needs to. 
but just we'll see what he does. I mean, he seems the pot. seems like whatever he's gonna do will probably be good. <laughs> You're laughing at yourself, right? Yeah. Classic. That's what I'm here for. Just to make myself laugh. He could. I mean, he could f go full pressure and do an over bet all in. Uh, it's just like, I'm all in. thinking how he'd size his value. Don't know that value would always size all in here. In. Oh, Sicko. there he goes. Wow. It's a really good line. He is just uh, Go. pretty much the Go. nut combo uh. to bluff with. Ay yeah. <laughs> Conan goes for the jugular. I still really like the line, though. Over three, I I, I agree. Chip so they can count. I you think I think the snap call <laughs> is uh, it's actually it does. somewhat disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, the line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's online, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah, unfortunate. Right. I mean, I think he gets a lot of one pair of hands to fold there. 